Hey guys, how's it going? Facebook Connect is upon us. Here's a little video to recap what went down last year, mixed with a little bit of Paradiddle, which you can buy on Steam. After the intro, we'll dive right in. I am excited to announce that early next year, we're launching hand tracking on Quest. We've made a major software update uh, and we have a new product that we're calling Oculus Link that is going to make it so that if you have a gaming PC and a USB-C cable, you're now going to be able to run all the Rift content on your Quest. Clearly we would like this to work on Wi-Fi eventually. Today, uh, we want to announce an experience that we've been working on called Horizon. And um, and in the future, we want to get to an input uh, where we can just think something and it, and it happens. So what, what, what people call a, a neural interface. Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Are you as excited as I am? Because it is almost September 16, of course, it's going to be Facebook Connect. Facebook Connect, which is the year's most important, probably one of the most important events when it comes to virtual reality because we're going to know everything. Well, not everything, but most things that Facebook have been working on throughout the year for our short-term, mid-term, and also long-term future. What are you most excited about? Leave a comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts. Of course, there are going to be some rock stars during Facebook Connect. I will leave in the description below a schedule with all the activities that are happening. But there's going to be an unscripted, unscripted is what it says on the website, keynote speech by John Carmack, who is more better known for being the consulting CTO of Facebook, Oculus, Facebook. It's going to be Facebook from now on, uh, no more Oculus. Uh, and also, of course, he is known more for creating the games or working on the games Doom, as well as Quake, and a whole bunch of other really well-known popular titles. So he spoke about certain things the year before, one of which was the ability to have Oculus Link to be patched wirelessly to the headset, to the Oculus Quest, or whatever it might be called. So it'll be very interesting to know how far we are, how close we are to having that technology to be implemented into the headset, because of course, if we don't have to use a cable of any kind, then that will be absolutely fantastic. Uh, as a Quest owner myself and Quest user, I have to admit that using the Oculus Link has been amazing. Uh, even though there is virtual desktop that's available that enables you to do more or less the same thing wirelessly, uh, it, hasn't, it doesn't provide the graphical power, of course, as it does using the Oculus Link, because the Link, all, or most of the data will be transferred through the cable. And if you do it wirelessly, well, there are some compromises there in terms of the technology. So, of course, we're anticipating some rock star news, including nonetheless the Oculus Quest 2 potential launch. It's been going on in the news for so long that we've been talking about it. Everybody's been talking about it for so long, trying to speculate as to what's going to be happening and whether there will be an Oculus Quest 2 launch on September 16 or when exactly would it be launched. It'll be great to know. And so we're really looking forward to that one. Facebook Horizon is obviously another rock star news that we're very much looking forward to uh, know about because at the moment it's only an early beta of access and it seems that when we look at all the different YouTubers who've been going inside and doing videos and also all the reviews on Facebook and Reddit, uh, there's actually quite a lot of bugs in there and there's quite a lot of things that they haven't really defined yet. So whether they have a behind the scenes version of Facebook Horizon where basically not even the early beta users have access to, well, that remains to be a question unanswered because they're going to want to make sure everything is working properly uh, before they release it to the general public, of course, uh, to ensure the success and not repeat the past. Eye tracking is also something that I think would be really interesting to know more about uh, in terms of how far the technology is and also how soon can it be implemented into new Oculus VR headsets or Facebook VR headsets? Um, you know, so when you have an object that's near you, everything will blur in the background 
and vice versa when you look in the background then the object closest to your uh, to your eyes will then blur just like in the real life that would be really amazing to have that kind of technology and really provide a much more sense of realism and immersion i think uh, in the vr headset itself Hand tracking is also a technology, of course, we've been very lucky as Quest owners to be able to experience it now. At the moment, it's very much in its infancy um, and we can't really do a lot with it. Honestly speaking, I don't really use it that much. It's just too hard, uh, too complicated, too cumbersome um, to activate from touch controllers to hand tracking also is not super smooth. And I find that my headset, honestly speaking, when I have hand tracking option available uh, or enabled, sorry, I actually have a lot of bugs going on from my Guardian not wanting to set up to Oculus Link not starting to the Quest just stop working and so I just switch it off. Uh, so it'll be very interesting to know what exactly have they been working on behind the scenes. Can we use it without having to do specific hand gestures but just by clicking on something or pressing something just like naturally in the real world so you don't really have to think about using your hands when you're actually trying to pick up an object and use that object. So it'd be great to know a bit more details about the hand tracking technology. What do you guys think? Is that something that you want to know more about as well? Leave a comment below. A lot of other unanswered questions, of course, is also going to be all about the Facebook Oculus merge of the accounts where we're not going to be using our Oculus accounts anymore when logging into the Oculus uh, future VR headsets and also including the current Quest. We're gonna to have to use Facebook. Now, Facebook have updated all their private policies and telling us what's gonna happen. And although they do say they don't share any private data, are they going to share other data? For example, I don't know how we make a face or our face or the inside of a home or the conversations that we might be having people is our quest recording things. We honestly, we don't know what's going on. We don't, you know, we don't necessarily know what's going to happen. So what does it all mean for us? And, you know, how can they reassure us, the consumer and the general public, that it's safe to use their VR headsets um, and that we're not going to be, you know, scrutinized and, and put under a microscope where this potential data can be shared with third parties or even just being recorded by them and being analyzed like lab rats. Personally, it's something that makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. So it'd be really good to know from the horse's mouth himself, as he says, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, which by the way, his name is not mentioned uh, on the Facebook Connect website as one of the keynote speakers, but we can anticipate him to come on stage, of course, and talk to us. So it'd be great to have that reassurance uh, from the top management of Facebook and Oculus. By the way, don't forget to pencil down in your calendar right away. September 16, 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is September 17, 1 a.m. Singapore time. We'll be doing a live stream here on the channel. We'll be going to check out all the different social media VR platforms like Old Space, Oculus Venues and all the others, as well as going to say hi to our fellow YouTubers as well. And we'll be doing some key giveaways of VR apps too live on the channel during the live stream so i can't reveal the vr apps at this moment in time so you're just gonna have to come and see and say hi to us and uh, you know just be part of the community and let's just all have fun together during facebook connect on september 16. oof i'm pumped are you i'm staring through your window looking up at the stars up at the stars I'm caught inside a loop where I can get to your heart, get to your heart So much I